when you talk about hard work, my father, I always remember getting up very, very early. He'd be out the door by 5.30. He'd be in the, in the shop at, at quarter of six. And they'd get stuff rolling right the first thing in the morning. You know, you talk about uh, consistency and, and steadiness and being able to, to roll for the long haul. I would say that that was a, uh, something that we were all very used to. You know, my father was a, um, uh, he wasn't looking for a flash in the pan. He was always looking for improvement, but dramatic improvement. Uh, you know, we came from a very small, humble beginning uh, and grew very rapidly. And so when I look at hard work and when I look at what he tried to do and what he showed us as work ethics, um, it, was, it was always very impressive. Uh, you know, it, 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 that, that's a great question as to how your relationship is with your, with your parent, who is your boss as well as your parent. It, it never seemed that way to me. His comment was always, are you having fun? You know, what, what's going on? Are you having fun? If you're enjoying yourself, you're going to, you're going to be successful. He started making portion control breasts for certain restaurants, and he'd have to cut pieces of the chicken to make the weight right. And next thing you know, there's thousands of pounds of little pieces of chicken piling up in the freezer. And he's saying, what am I gonna do with this stuff? He had a friend that was in the fried clam uh, snack shack business. He says, hey, what do you think about this for our products? Take some of them and put that fried clam breading on it. And he did it, they tried it, it was a big success, and hence the chicken nuggets. His first uh, prepared, value-added poultry product was born in probably the late 60s. From there, we watched things progress. Chicken fingers were next, and then he took that trip to Texas, and that trip to Texas in 1970 was really what started the stuffed breast business. Uh, he happened to see a, a stuffed potato that had fallen out of the box, sitting in a grocery store. He looked at it and said, hmm, I bet I could do this with chicken. And he brought the product home, and our first stuffed chicken breast was born later that year. It was on the shelf very quickly uh, at our local grocery store. Well, storytelling was one of my father's greatest strengths. And in fact, uh, one of the things that I think inspires associates is when they hear the stories about how uh, uh, challenges were overcome. There was a time when we had a roof collapse. Can you imagine the entire roof collapsed over part of our production facility? What was so amazing is to go to the plant after that had happened and to see people everywhere up on the roof shoveling snow um, moving around, uh, inside, building a temporary wall, and everybody pitched in so that we did not miss a beat. When we first started out in the 70s doing the stuffed chicken breasts, we never thought it was gonna be as big as it is today. You know, our world is changing. Our customers are getting bigger and bigger. Our competitors are getting bigger and bigger. We need a partner that can, that can take advantage of the marketplace and, and be that force that it needs to be. I started when I was 12 years old, and uh, you know it's been it's been stunning to see how this next phase of the business is really taking advantage of the strengths of Advanced Pierre and the foundation of Barber Foods. Mm -hmm.